install the CPU now Let's solve this issue. 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 Let's solve this Cool the CPU down, and then there is fan, four, two big fans for underneath, and they are fit free at the top, which create a magnificent airflow to cool down the CPU, so they can be overclocked up to four and a half, four point eight gigahertz. Looking at the top, I'm just holding it with two screws temporarily. What I've noticed is that the best thing is to use a longer screw that holds the top fan and then screws right into the radiator and holds the radiator as well. Um, so uh, the fans are going to go at the top, there's going to be three of them. 
and they've got blue LED lights. They're gonna push the air down into the radiator, and then there is the two underneath the radiator also push the air into the into the case. So they create a flow, a really fast flow of air right through the radiator. Okay, the three fans are mounted uh, at the top and obviously underneath I've got the radiator, the pump is still in there, it has to go up now on and then basically it's just a matter of getting the power supply starting hooking up. Um, the fan at the top, as we've seen before, radiator at the bottom. Um, I have already allowed for um, four SATA connector. They're feeding through, and then we'll connect it to the hard disk once uh, once we're ready to go. Uh, RAM is missing from here. Power supply to go to the two main um, um, point on the logic board, and the motherboard and the video card and that's about it so ram power supply connecting and video card uh, which is there and it will go in, in a minute um, i've got a fan at the bottom which i didn't have before um, so that's been fitted there um, there isn't really that much reason or logic to put another one there because it's closed unless i remove the hard disk box so i'll leave it as it is it doesn't need it and um, so that one there will basically there will come through from the front from the top which is really clean air away from the floor and that will be pushed through onto the motherboard as well as cooling down the radiator and it will extract through here and it will extract for this one the front fan big fan also will push air through for the front with another filter and uh, uh, basically it will still be routed out through here and through here for these two um, so that should create a really nice sale flow, I think, throughout the case. Um, that's about it. Power supply will fit here. first boot of motherboard um, just monitoring the CPU temperature at the moment and making sure that um, uh, the CPU is getting cooled correctly for a few minutes and then I'll continue and finalize the installation
I have to route the cables still um, properly, but at the moment it's just uh, prior to routing them, I wanted to make sure that everything was working correctly. CPU seems to be running really well. It hasn't gone over 27 degrees. Um, generally 26 and a half, and sometimes goes 27, sometimes 26. Actually, it seems to almost settle down to not going to 27 anymore now. Of course, there is no load on the CPU at the moment. And it's not overclocked. There it is, 27, 26 and a half. Everything is sort of happening. Just starting to restructure my disks and partitions. Um, trying to re, yeah, restructure things so I've got maximum efficiency in terms of where I've got the partition stored on which of the various uh, um, drives I've got. And... Um, and then come up and create another RAID uh, 5 or RAID 10 um, with the free disks that I've been able to free up, uh, which I will then eventually shift things on. So computer is ready, this is happening. I still am running it off of a, a normal SATA drive at the moment, rather than running it uh, from um, um, uh, the M2 drive, M.2 drive, uh, which is down there somewhere under the video card, but it's not being used at the moment. Uh, that will be the last process that I'll do is I'll clone the OS starting disk uh, onto that one. It's actually a drive that is down there, I'll show you in a minute. The other thing that I have to do in terms of this is I have to put the new RAM. Um, uh, at the moment I'm using temp two temporary stick of 4 gig um, that will be replaced with uh, running at uh, dual channel I'll replace those with the four uh, stick of 8 gig coming uh, balanced and uh, that will run quad channel uh, DDR4 and then I want to replace this cable um, which is a bit of a uh, stuff up I mean the one I had is not long enough so what will happen is I'll get a longer one and it will come from here down in there through the back of the case through the top and it will plug in there or through the side there and then plug in there I'll try to go through the top if I can um, that will leave it really nice and neat and then there is that cover that will go over the top here and cover this thing uh, completely so it will look really nice and neat um, the LED are working already the back uh, still messy I need to tidy it up you can see at the moment there is a few drives in there. I don't know what I'll end. I'll end up with two drives in there actually. And then the other drive would be the one at the front. Um, um, yeah, I won't be using this SSD. This I'll recycle into, it's a nice disc this one here actually, but I'll recycle that into a, a one of the laptops and give it a fresh uh, life and make it a lot faster. Um, the one I've got here, the, the SSD I'm using here, the SM951 Samsung is just another another dimension. It's like four or five times the speed of this, so uh, makes that fairly redundant. And then I just have to decide whether I run this RAID uh, uh, 5 or 10 in here, uh, in addition to the two drives that I have in here, or, uh, and remove one of those drives and put the RAID, or whether I stick like that and do another NAS, I've already got a NAS with 16 terabyte and I might run another one with uh, 6 terabyte with three, 4 drives by 2 terabyte uh, yeah so this one here will get cover obviously will be flash and uh, the back here you won't see anything uh, yeah this is uh, all happening the fans are there at the moment uh, so all working well and obviously the color um, uh, you can alternate the color here which is quite good um, so if we go through here, that's, the moment is daylight, so you probably don't get as much of a really good look of it until later on. But yeah, now it looks pretty good and plenty of opportunity to just adjust a little bit the mood and, and change. So, so looking very good at the moment.